I don't even know if anybody will show up to this. Hmm. I'm kind of amazed people showed up to this. So, I told you guys, like I promised you guys one day I would show you this. And honestly, I held off on it for a long time. But I've, I've told you guys, like one of the things I struggled with was depression. Like I struggled with it really bad. And I've, I've had it ever since I was younger. It really after mom and dad. And in, in truth, it was kind of manifesting even before then. It was becoming a part of my life even before then. You know, going back to my, my teenage years. And... At this point in my life, it kind of comes and goes. You know, um, I'll be fine for weeks, months at a time. And then it'll just, just come on to me all of a sudden. But this is a, it's the second night in a row that has happened. And honestly, there's really not even a trigger for it. And like, it's just, it's just depression kicks in sometimes. And I mean, I told you guys, I, I told you guys I would let you all see this. I mean, When it hits, <clears throat> it usually kind of creeps on. It comes on slow, right? Like it's just sort of works its way in. And it's, it's kind of hard to describe. Like the world becomes gray, if that makes any sense. And every, every ounce of, of, like every negative thing I've ever done over my life. Like, every mistake I've ever made, every ounce of self-doubt, every negative thought I could ever have about myself all just kind of comes flowing back in. And I get these feelings that like I don't matter, that like I'm totally irrelevant. Like I get these, I get these like, these thoughts and feelings that like tomorrow I could vanish off the face of the planet and the world just wouldn't care. And, and it's, and it sucks. You know, I call them my bad days. You know, that's kind of the name I give them. But it's, uh, I mean, I can't sleep. It's 12.45 in the morning here on the West Coast. I'm in, I'm in Portland, Oregon right now. I'm supposed to be on vacation. And it just, and it just comes on. It's rough. But... I mean... Sometimes it's worse than other. Like, there are sometimes all I want to do is just sit home and cry. And then and there are times when it just kind of feels like a mildly bad day. But honestly, I feel, I mean. It's kind of crazy. For all the success that I've had with Comics Explained, in times like these, I feel like a failure. Like...
Yeah, I feel like a failure. Like I, I, I look at the people that I know. I have like one or two friends who ever actually reach out to me. And for something as simple as to see how I'm doing. When I was younger, one of the things I was, I was taught, my dad taught me a lot of lessons, some good, some not so good. Normally I never would have done this. One of the things that my dad taught me when I was younger was, you gotta keep it, you gotta keep it to yourself. Suck it up, son. That's what dad used to say. It's not the end of the world, son. That was his favorite phrase. This is not the end of the world. Calm down, be quiet. But huh. mm. in times like these, when this happens. I feel absolutely alone. I wish Mariah was here. I probably shouldn't have said that. She's actually in Puerto Rico with her friends. They used to, like she went on a vacation with them and I decided to take a vacation tour in the West Coast. I have all this self-doubt swirling through my head. Like, you ever, you ever be in a, you're, you're in a situation where like your brain starts asking questions that you just can't avoid. Like that's what, that's what this is like. Depression is hard, guys. It's really rough. It'll fuck your life up. And people would tell me, people would tell me that I'm, that I'm an inspirational person. People would tell me that, that I've achieved great things. People would tell me that,
people would tell me that I've made their lives better. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. If I'm being honest with you guys, the way I'm feeling now, sometimes I don't know what people see in me. I've made more mistakes than you guys can imagine. The kind of mistakes that I've made, I don't feel like a very good person. I don't really talk to my family anymore. It's probably getting too personal now. Anyway. This is what it looks like, guys. Imagine waking up one morning and feeling like you don't matter, that the world doesn't care about you, that everything my dad always said was true. The world doesn't care about you, son, it never will. Imagine waking up and questioning why anybody spends any time with you or anybody talks to you or anybody associates with you. You're in a relationship and you don't even know why she's there. In times like these, I don't know what Mariah sees in me. Anyway, I'll probably keep this video up to be honest. I promise people, I'm a far cry from the Rob Jefferson who makes videos about how to make your life better. Who am I to make a video like that? I don't even have my life together.
Anyway. This is what one of my bad days looks like. I'm gonna bounce off here, guys.